Hey guys, it's Lisa and today is Thursday and today is the day that I do my Friday video. Well, this morning something happened that had never happened before. My camera just cut off. It didn't tell me it was overheating. It didn't say the battery was running low. It cut off and the lens didn't even go back in. So John and I looked at it. We started it again. Bottom line is I lost the whole front of my Friday haul video while I was loading the footage before I realized that I lost it, I put up all of my products. I put up the camera, the tripod, the lights, everything. Everything that is missing from this video, I will show you next week. There's still a lot. There's still this lip combo. You can tell I just got home. I went to go get lunch and take Will to school. I showed you my new sunglasses in the video. I love these. If you don't like pink, then you're not gonna like them. But I love these. They're just some more of those cheap sunglasses. I showed you my new Jenny Bird bracelets that I showed you in the video yesterday. If you didn't see that, I'll put it up here. And then I don't know if this is left in there. This is my new watch. It's a Bulova watch. And I saw it on a lady in a video from Double Vanilla where she goes out on the streets in like New York and Paris and asks people what they're wearing. And this girl had this watch on and hers was vintage. So I immediately stopped it and looked and they actually sell it. It's kind of like a retro design and it's Bulova. And I just think it's really cool. It reminds me of like the 70s and the 80s. So I think I had told you that. And I'm not sure what else, but anything that is missing, I will just show you next week. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you'll watch to see this lip combo because it's fabulous. Okay, you guys, my memory card just filled up. I'm assuming that I showed you these little half lashes from Lily Lashes. And then I have these that are the Faux Mink Everyday Lashes. Oh, I love those. I could almost cut those in half. See, when they are graduated on both ends like that, sometimes I can cut one in half and use it on each end, but I won't do that at first. And then these are so pretty. These are another Everyday Lash in Natural. These are the Dreamy Half Lash, and these are the Sassy half lash. And then they sent me their Power Liner Lash Adhesive and then their Brush On Lash Adhesive. So thank you so much to Lily Lashes. I don't think I have worn these in years. So thank you so much. Okay, let's do some Dean Davidson. He sent me some new jewelry. It's Hi Lisa, set your sights on a Sunday destination by sending this postcard to someone you'd love to plan a getaway with. We hope you love your new soul pieces. Wow, I haven't even looked at this because I just opened it. Look at that postcard. That is so pretty. I love it, I love it. So this is the new Soul Collection, Bask in the Radiant Styles of Soul, a sophisticated resort collection you can wear year round. Taking inspiration from the sun and the sea. That is right up my alley. So let's see what I got. Okay, the first one, and I'll have to say, it's not just me that's getting a presentation and a package that looks like this. When you order from Dean Davidson, you will get the same thing. When I ordered from a lot of the other brands that other people talk about, I did not get this nice of packaging. And I, I don't know, it seems like I must have a hang up on packaging, but I just think it's part of the product. I think it's part of the presentation. So here we go. Oh my goodness, yay! What were we just talking about in my last video? Oh my goodness. I love this so much. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh my gosh, plain dress, plain white t-shirt with your jean shorts. Put this on and it just instantly makes you look so stylish. It is so summertime. I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze it. No, I don't know if it's adjustable. I don't know. I think it's too much, but it doesn't go off of my wrist. Oh my goodness, I just love it. I'm so glad I waited to open this with you so you can experience it with me. 
Okay, so the next thing is, I feel like it might be a ring. I love this. It reminds me of an orange. <laughs> It is so juicy and beautiful and happy and vibrant. I love his rings. His statement rings pack a punch. They're big, but they are still streamlined enough that they don't get on your nerves. You can wear them all day. They don't bang into things. And this is absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness, and here we have some stocking rings. So these are perfect for those of you that prefer smaller rings or to stack your rings. Of course, I'm extra, I like them both. Some days I feel like putting on just a little small ring, but most days I find it just kind of like that cuff. I put on a one and done ring and I go. Sometimes I put a ring on every finger. You never know, it depends on what mood I'm in. Those are really pretty, and just the way that they stack. This is more my everyday vibe. This is more like my daughter, Brooke. I always say she's my little gypsy. She's more of that flowy, earthy look, but still very, very feminine. That's what it reminds me of. Oh my gosh, two more things. I love this. I don't think I have one piece of jewelry in this color. That is just gorgeous, and I already know that I love this chain. Just look at the detail in his clasp and the chain and everything. It's gorgeous. Here, I'll put it on. It doesn't go with my dress today, but you'll get the idea. And it's easy. That little catch is easy. Ooh, that is beautiful. This would be good for maxi dresses too. You know who has good maxi dresses that have a bra built into them is Soma. I just saw them advertise again, but I remember seeing those last year. They would have the good, just flowy, but substantial maxi dresses with a bra built in. This would be perfect. <laughs> I don't know what the heck made me think of that, but just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Dean. I just love these. And then look at these earrings. They are gorgeous. They look like the cuff from the collection. And I love this. Look how easy they're gonna be to put on. Here, I'll put them on. These are the Sheila Fajal hoops and they are the small. And then these you will just put right in and then snap the back. Yes, wow. So they really pack a punch to be something so small. Say so thank you once again to Dean for this fabulous goodie box. And this was the Soul Collection. And of course, I will link every piece I showed down below. Speaking of white t-shirts, one of my subscribers and friends on here, Corey, sent me a photo of this t-shirt that she got at Target. And she said that she thought I would love it because I love this type of sleeve. So I ordered it. I kept trying to go out there and I just never made it. So I ordered this one, which I think is going to be a fabulous shape. I just got these late, like I would say like eight o'clock last night. I looked out and there was a little package by the door. And then I also ordered this one because it looked like the perfect shape. These are cropped. They're not gonna show your tummy or anything, but they're still cropped. But these look really good with skirts, especially like the column skirts. They look really good with trousers. It's just a lot of possibilities. I find that I wear my white t-shirts that are cut like that a lot. Okay, I got a big, you guys, this is a fabulous package. The whole set of the High Vibe Lip Color. Isn't that ironic? This is the peachy lip color that I showed you Friday before last. And then last Friday, I showed you the one that was a little bit darker and peachier where they sent me the whole collection. Now I know without a doubt, I recommend, what was that light color? Here it is, Joy. I actually just did a little eat with me in the car or whatever, and I redid my lip combo with this, and I just love it. It looks so good with that Lee Swatche Ginger lip liner. So I will try to swatch these. Sometimes I put off swatching them because then I feel like I can't give them away, but I feel like with these, I'm gonna swatch them because the color is so vibrant and fiery, and the formula is so good in these that I will try to swatch these for you and put a, either a picture in here or on my Instagram. But I love that they sent me this cool tin. You know how I love stuff like this? Like a lot of times I'll order fragrance and stuff if it comes in a tin. I reuse these. So thank you to Laura Mercier for these. Now let's get into some makeup. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and include my MAC makeup. I kept thinking I'm gonna do a separate MAC haul and it just never happened. So I thought today we would go through what I ordered and I will tell you what I think. I've used several pieces. Okay, the first thing I ordered is the Studio Fix. I saw they had a new shade. Typically, I wear NC45, which is very tawny, and it's, you know, very sun-kissed. I saw they had NC44.5. Both are beautiful. I have used this a couple of days now. So, I have found that the NC45 is much more of a bronzer, a bronzy shade. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that much darker, but it really is. Like today, I had just used the 44 4.5 and I needed a little bit of this so you know I like it but I didn't need it but I just wanted to see how it was this I have loved this is the glow play blush and so natural I have used this probably every day this week so in my videos if you have liked my blush it was this it is gorgeous it's almost like a creamy powder it's hard to swatch but it is i mean i've got it on today so it is just more of like a natural glow i really really like it it's very subtle but yet it just adds that dimension when i went in ulta last night i picked up an oldie but a goodie and a favorite which is the chanel ultra lit tint in bd41 i started watching my old snatural video i will link it down below i'm telling you when I was doing that method of makeup, I know that Mary Phillips has kind of made that popular again. When I was doing that and I followed Scott Barnes, I loved my makeup every day and it lasted. It was bulletproof. It didn't matter if it was the summer, winter. I mean, it was just so good. So I kind of want to get into that again. If you'd like to see a new video with new products, let me know. And then I grabbed B40, which is along the same lines, but neutral. So I'm going to start wearing these. I would tell you everything I have on today, but I have a favorites video coming up. I don't do favorites all the time. I wait until I really feel like I've got a lot of favorites and I do. I've had a lot of just kind of weird things that I like. So that will be coming soon too. So that was all at Ulta. Then I went to Sephora. I went to go get that Moroccan oil shimmer body oil. And I also saw online that the Makeup Forever came out with a new powder. Now I love the matte velvet skin powder. This is one of those that I have like gone through and hit pan. This color is my everyday color. It's Y245. And what I use it for is with a big fluffy brush just to set my makeup. And it adds a little bit of dimension and a little bit of color coverage and it just looks pretty it looks very velvety so when i went they did not have the same color like number but i went online and i chose this one that is supposed to be light medium neutral and it is 1 in 14. So this is the new packaging. It's really pretty. It's kind of like nude. And this is the shade. So let's compare them. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna like it because this one is a little more neutral. And I think it's a little brighter, maybe has a little bit more yellow. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I'll take a picture and put in here too. Okay, so that's something I'll be trying this week. We're not done with MAC. I'm just kind of going through my bag here. I ordered the Brow Code pencils, the ones that Pamela Anderson's makeup artist used on her. And I ended up loving the blonde the Light Ash Blonde. It's what I've got on today, and these do not swatch well because they're just, you know, like the classic pencil. Did you just see how easy that went on? And it matches my brows perfectly. I love it. I have used it every day since I opened it. Now these are medium brown, and taupe, I'm gonna keep them because sometimes I like, you know how I go through phases. I'll go through a phase where I like the dark brows. I'll go th through a phase where I like them real light, but love them. So if you were thinking about trying these, I would go for it. Okay, now we're getting, we're getting back to Mac here. I ordered a soft ochre paint pot. This and Painterly, they're just like basics. And it's just like I do with everything. Painterly is going to be more of your nude, fleshy tone. Soft ochre is more of your yellowy, warm undertone. Sometimes I just get too lazy and I don't put on 
a good primer, but when you put these on and then you start buffing in your shadows, it just, it's night and day. So love these and I will use this in one of my next videos. This is a shadow that I have worn since the beginning. It's MAC Grain. It's a good one just to put all over the lid when you're first starting out, you know, for a good base. I did order two of the Pro Long Wear Fluid Lines, and I like them both. Today I have on Midnight Snack. It was kind of a fail because, well, it is for me. You may love it because it's not quite dark enough for me. I might like it in another situation, but because I was using darker liner and I knew I was wearing lashes, it wasn't quite dark enough. I had to go over it with a little bit of black pen, but this is, you know, just like, kind of like your steely gray gel liner. Now this one, low lights, I love this. This is your dark, dark espresso brown. I wore this yesterday and it just really went on well and I loved it and it still looked good with lashes. Okay, this is something a little different. Several of you sent me this video, my daughter Brooke did too, and it's a girl on TikTok. So she was trained by Alexis Vogel to do the True Pammy Lip and she used these products. First she used, and I've got them on today and I did part of the process. The first one is this NARS Liquid Lip in Le Freak. When I first got it, I thought it was going to be too light, but it is so pretty. Now I will say when I show you how to do this, let this dry before you put anything else on top of it because I have totally messed up my makeup by trying to powder over this before it was dry. Her method is you put this on, you push your lips together so that you're getting that bottom lip print kind of over the top, which happens to me anyway. Then she takes her foundation sponge, goes over the edges, and then uses MAC Stone. I went and got a new MAC Stone. I don't know where I've put it, but I found that I didn't like that. It was just too much for me. So what I've been doing is I put this on, do that thing where I press my lips together, I let them dry completely, you know, 10 minutes, then go over it with MAC Nymphet Gloss. So you can see how the Nymphet has that like iridescence to it. That's what this is. So this is the Le Freak with this over it. Before I put this on, when it's dried, I put a little bit of Lancome Ideal because that is just so much easier to work with than the MAC Stone. And I don't do the foundation over my lips. And then you can also put something much lighter in the center. It's been a couple of weeks since I've watched that, so I can't remember if she put anything else in there. But for me, this is all I need with Lancome Ideal. Okay, now you can see that it's dried. See how pretty it is? It is so good. This is one of those that makes me wanna go get another one just to keep in my purse or something. It is a good one. It's weird because I normally don't like colors this light, but it still packs a punch. And I did go get a few more. I liked that one so much. I got Somebody to Love, which is a little bit darker. I really, really like this formula. Okay, we're almost done here. I did get the shadow in Finian Matte. I haven't used it yet, but there were several, all of the new colors that I haven't seen. I went ahead and got those. This one looks really good. Maybe we'll do a MAC Get Ready With Me. I actually went to Ulta last week to try to figure out what color in the Studio Fix I would wear, and I could not figure it out. Then I think we settled on NC17, and they were out of it. If you're my skin tone and we are, what is it, Shade Sisters, and you wear MAC, let me know what color you wear. I did buy some of these MAC Locked Kiss Ink. This one's upgraded. These I like, but not as much as the... NARS. The NARS just has a really velvety, special consistency, and all of the colors in these MAC are really pretty. So you may like them, but I just prefer the NARS. And then I got a MAC lipstick, and it's taupe of the list. That is a good one. Wow. Can you see the vibe I was going for here? A lot of times I like to start off with this and then put the MAC Myth or cream cup, or even that Ulta. Those Ulta lipsticks I showed you last week, they were really good. I've used those a lot to lighten up other lipsticks, but that is really pretty. Wow, what formula is that? It's matte. That is a creamy, creamy matte color. And then another 
eyeshadow shade I got that was different that I haven't tried before is Natural Wilderness Satin. <laughs> Did I say wilderness kind of southern? This is one of those colors that could go either I'm going to love it or I'm going to hate it. I can't remember the name of that other MAC color that's kind of like this that we ended up loving so much, but it looks really bad in the pan. That's how this is. It's almost like one of those greeny kind of khaki browns but this could look really good. I'm thinking of the, is it Natasha Denona Camel Palette? It's, the tones in it are kind of like this. So I will try this again soon too. I'm thinking that might be a good color, a good natural type color for me. Okay, here it is. I forgot I had some stuff in this other basket over there. So this is your MAC Stone. So what you use something like this for is just to create that shadow. Okay. So it's on this side, top and bottom. Can you tell a difference? That side does look more pillowy, doesn't it? That is amazing. Yeah, go ahead and get the stone too. Get stone, get, don't get stoned. Get stone, get the Le Freak, and then get Mac Nymphette. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I placed an order with Mac online then I went to the MAC counter, the real MAC counter. Then I have been to Ulta. So this was a couple of different orders. The Locked Kiss Ink. This one is Bodacious. Okay. I really like that. And I haven't worn it yet. And then this one is Mischief. Ooh, I like it too. Bodacious, Mischief, and Le Freak are my favorites. If you want to do this look, and then you need to get the stone lip liner. I had no idea it would make that big of a difference with that little bit. Okay guys, we're wrapping it up. I also ordered some more eyeshadows. She Sparkles is a good one. Royal Rendezvous, and this is a matte. Cozy Gray, this one is a matte. I was thinking this might even be good for my brows. A lot of times if you're a blonde, you can use gray shadows. I've never tried one of these. This is It's Vintage, and it's a Powder Kiss shadow. Another Powder Kiss shadow in Give a Glam. And then the last one is Gray Stone, and it's a matte. So you can see my theme here. I was wanting some of those darker, you know, outer corner colors, and I think I've got it, and I just miss MAC. MAC takes me back to the days when it was exciting to go shopping, and the people that worked there were makeup artists and enthusiasts, not just someone working at the counter, and they just, I don't know, I just felt like I had a good time. I used to look forward to every collection release. You guys remember Hello Kitty and Barbie and all of those? So I think that's it. I am wearing a new dress. I showed you the black one in my video that I just I just put up this morning. It's Thursday. And this is the pink version. I wanted to show you these. These are from H&M. They're fabulous. I love them. They were not expensive, but I will say size down. When I looked at the 38, I actually tried them on in the store. I hope that they're even online. If not, I got these in the store, but I had to size down. So these are a 37 and I am a size eight. So I'm not particularly gonna wear these with this dress, but I'm gonna try them on for you right now. This dress is amazing. It is ribbed, stretchy, forgiving, and it's not very thick at all. It's very thin, so it's definitely a good summer dress. And then here are the shoes. They're funky, but in the best way. They remind me of something like from Veronica Beard or Stella McCartney or, you know, just one of those brands. And then this is what I'm gonna to wear today. John and I actually have somewhere to go today for lunch. And I'm gonna just wear these, which are my Zara favorites. They go with everything, like I say, just like the ultimate nude shoe. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.